Okay. Hello. Uh, so I'm Eli, and this is I'm David. David. <laughs> and this is a game we're working on called UntitledBulletHill.com. Uh, that screen we were just looking at is some crazy options for what the game mode is, but we're not going to worry about that right now. Uh, this this thing right here is like to pick a special weapon. Everybody gets to pick one of these, and you can spend uh, you can spend some of your in-game resources on them for various types of bonuses and help helpful things. <laughs> uh, David here has picked a rocket, which is pretty pretty self-explanatory. Now to use that rocket he has to get some resources, so he's going to shoot some of these helpless trucks which are going by. <laughs> and little green things popping out is like money. We're calling those cookies. I might change the name of that. <laughs> we might just leave it as cookies. Eh. Cookies, money. Yeah. He's also getting some little Coins. little upgrades there, those crazy spazzing out pills. Uh, they're missing an art asset, but they give you some kind of nice little bonus. Yeah, all the, all the graphics here are pretty much placeholder. Right, right yeah, now. there's... <laughs> A lot of stuff that's missing. <laughs> uh, now this bubble that's popping up is a weapon upgrade. So you stay inside of it for six seconds or so, you get a nicer gun. This little bar has to fill up. Uh, I find that I find that this kind of mechanic is nice for a bullet hell because it kind of forces you to stay in one place, which is kind of counter to dodging. Which you know, any any more distance you can move is more options you have. So it's kind of fun to have little restrictions like that. So there's a bunch of mechanics in this game that are based around this little. Bubbles, wells. Right here. Oh, you can see uh, they split apart there. It's really <laughs> cool. <laughs> yeah, these bad guys are like little platforms that are all stapled together. And if you blow up one in the middle, the ones on the sides break, break off and they go do their own thing. Now, to help us fight off some of these guys, we're making a little turret, which is for defense. Uh, this is the most basic type. It's just like the normal turret, so it just fires bullets. And it's got a pretty consistent damage per second, so that's nice. But it also doesn't really do anything too fancy, so it's kind of the run of the mill one. We'll see some fancier ones in a second. It's efficient. Yeah. Old reliable. <laughs> <laughs> the little spirally thing going up there is the rockets, so I don't know if we mentioned that, but that's the that's the special he picked at the beginning of the run. Yeah, so you start out with one rocket and then the little green pill bean things that are <laughs> 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 the the temporary beans uh they're uh the, the power-ups, which yep. give you minor minor upgrades, and one of those is a special up, so you'll go from one rocket to two rockets to three rockets, and they get bigger and badder. Yep. All of the all the special items have three levels of awesomeness. Like right now we're on two. That might be the last one. The rocket one just adds an extra rocket for each level, so the third one has like two rockets and a helix, and one that goes straight down the middle. Now this turret here on the right is the fire turret, so it's got a higher damage per second that's possible, but it also has higher potential to get blocked and to, to miss. It fires one big blast look at it at a time, so if, it, if that single one misses, then it does no damage, but if it does hit, then it's got, it's got a pretty good punch to it. <laughs> Just blast things on fire. <laughs> these, uh, these elemental turrets are the latest addition in this game, it kind of makes it... Uh, because it's some like tower defense elements, which is cool. I think a lot of people are familiar with that from the web game days. Uh, and that goes nicely with this shoot 'em up, because that's something that a lot of people are familiar with from even earlier than that. So it's kind of two things that people already know, but stuck together. It's a fun, uh, it's pretty fun uh, working out like different strategies with a bullet hell, sort of instead of dodge and shoot. It's funny, there are times when you kind of have to you have to kind of not think about the strategy for a bit because you're too busy <laughs> oh. doing other stuff. <laughs> Just smashed one of those guys with a turret. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of an extra, like, emergent attack you can use <laughs> with the turrets. Uh, this one is it's just area of effect. It slows guys down and does some damage, but looks like it was kind of under too much fire there. Yeah. <laughs> crazy here we're kind of earning our our bullet hell title yeah so when you, you carry <laughs> a, like when you hoard a bunch of resources uh and you're holding on to all those cookies they'll shoot more bullets at you yeah so i had a whole bunch of them there and so they're just shooting these big long strings so i had to dump them into this emp turret <laughs> so the emp turret is special uh, instead of firing directly on the bad guys it just powers up the players that are close to it when you're close, your gun turns into a sparkler like this, uh, so and everything kind of it tethered hits, to it. Right, everything it hits uh, doesn't it doesn't get a chance to fire back. It's like a it's like a disabling weapon. I call it dazzler. Dazzler. <laughs> <laughs> the 
<laughs> Big old snake enemy. <laughs> Now the, the enemies can run into the turrets to do some damage, and if, uh, if a piece of an enemy gets separated so it's all by itself, it always immediately targets any turrets that it finds. But it's, uh, there's extra danger when that happens. And the other cool thing about these EMP turrets is they stack, uh, so you can oh, yeah. more than one. <laughs> Tether. Got a couple here. There we go. Yeah, so now when he hits these bad guys, there's this whole little cloud of... EMP electricity. It's a very scientific game. <laughs> <laughs> but it disables a whole whole ton of bad guys all at once. You have a much easier time dodging. No. Oh. <laughs> of course, when I say that too much, oh, we have no final, final score. score. We have zero points. <laughs> well. <laughs> so that's the single player version. Uh, we'll show you a version of the versus mode uh, pretty soon. Yeah, sometime. <laughs> <laughs> Someday. And I guess, have a nice one. Yeah. <laughs>